We're putting the bow on a terrific Tuesday weather wise. Things getting a little bit better tomorrow too. So when does it change? When does the <laughs> rain come in? Because I feel like that's coming. Yep. Well, definitely I think we're going to say goodbye to the blue skies. Maybe gradually, though. I will still have a little bit of sun the next couple of days, but we're going to see more clouds starting to move in. There's the campus of Elon University today. It's definitely nice. We had light breezes. Even though the temperatures got back to normal in the low 80s, it still felt really comfortable out there with low humidity. We've got 80 for a high tomorrow, upper 70s on Thursday, and then you can see see the drop on Friday and Saturday. Also, rain chances are going up and we do have a chance for at least some patchy light rain and drizzle in that Friday Saturday time period that is indirectly associated with Francine. What's happening is the front's going to lift north. High pressure is going to nose in and that's going to create what we call overrunning. So some of that moisture from Francine is going to fall into some cooler air and fall in the form of some very light rain. The heavier rains are going to stay well to the west. The winds will stay well to the west as well. Right now we do have some thin clouds that are real high trying to inch their way northward into our area and I think that's what you're going to see tomorrow. Temperatures are in the mid 60s and much of the Carolinas and then we've got some cooler 50s popping up in places like Reesville at 56, Martinsville at 55, North Wilkesboro at 57. Our planner for tomorrow starts us in the mid 50s so it's nice and cool and then we get up to about 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon with just a bit of sunshine. It will be warm but it will be comfortable. Our high is 79 tomorrow afternoon in the foothills with partly cloudy skies and in the mountains we're also going to have a few clouds around mainly sunny with a high of 72 tomorrow afternoon. Here's the map for tomorrow. You see the clouds really staying mostly to our south by Thursday morning. Those starting to creep northward into the area by Thursday afternoon, possibly a shower to our south and west. I think by Thursday night and into Friday morning, we do have the possibility of seeing at least a little bit of patchy light rain in the forecast heading into Friday. And I think those temperatures are going to stay down a little bit. Hurricane Francine, here's the latest 11 o'clock advisory moving northeast now at 10 miles an hour. It's kind of elongated here, but there is a cinder there. That core could strengthen in time, and that's why we're anticipating that it may become a, a larger category one, potentially a category two. It's got 75 mile per hour winds right now. You see the rain there mostly offshore. It's about 185 miles from the mouth of the Rio Grande River. It is anticipated that it's going to kind of work its way to the north and to the east, bringing those strong winds and storm surge largely to the Louisiana coast, it looks like, on this track, and then working its way up the Mississippi River Valley. So as it does move in that general direction, the heavy rains stay to our west. But for us, with this cooler easterly flow, there is that opportunity for temperatures to go down in the low 70s and even a little bit of patchy light rain to be in and around our area over the weekend.